one? Which one is going to kill you? Thirty level sheep. Tolliman two. Nice. There are more orphs. Let's see what's on this ball. as well. not hitting anywhere. Yeah, that's not the way to fire. Oh yeah, this this was silenced as well. Wow. So now now I got the 40 40 millimeter. For taking his I'm taking his um, ammo. So now I have a 40 millimeter as well. Boosted regulator, not really great. But this is great, rare heavy. I'm going to need EM gun. Yeah, this is basically a grenade launcher. I'm kind of betting that there will be a terror attack while we are on the surface of this planet. So let's go close the door. Okay, so there's a deep mining suit. I pride myself on knowing everyone on this world, and I don't know you. You're with the collection team then, I presume. Either that, or you're one deeply unlucky trespasser. Both. Vanguard, eh? Brief said you were an eclectic group. 
You must have really shined out on the fringe to get assigned a task like this. Ah, then this must be the rest of your outfit. Commander Hatoum, I... No need for introductions, Major Simon. Dr. Walker, your reputations precede you. As does the urgency of your mission, so I'll get to it. Now, Londinian is one of the most dangerous places in the Milky Way. It's for good reason my soldiers and I do everything we can to avoid entering the city. Terramorphs are omnipresent, and the structural damage left behind when... when Major Sanon's father bombed its spaceport has turned large swathes of the metropolis into a decaying labyrinth. Sounds such, nice. We'll be providing vacation. All vacation. information vacation. and uploading municipal unlock codes to your robot. Every tool you could need to succeed out there. Except one. Once you're on the other side of those barriers, you will be on your own. If you get into trouble, my people will not be coming. Do we understand each other? Sure, sure. Now I take your heaviest orders, please. Terramorphs, and plenty of them. Outside our little sanctuary here, much of the planet is theirs. For that reason, we keep our trips into the city to a minimum. That also means our intel becomes largely historical once you go much beyond the defenses. It's also why I want to make sure I'm being crystal clear. Out there, you're on your own. Precisely. I'll leave you to your preparations then. You can find your equipment in our armory, base of the tower just outside. And I do believe there's someone waiting for you there, Captain. Now, once you're outside the base, it's my personal suggestion you make a beeline to the nearby Aceles plant. It contains one of our field caches. Though I can't guarantee it won't contain anything else. I hope you all find what you're looking for out there. Robot, you're coming with me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Commander. Percival, you all set to hook into their comms tower? Should only take a few minutes. Let's get this done and get the hell out of here. Percival will be scanning the city for our samples from here. When he finds one, he'll transmit the coordinates to us out in the field. Pinpoint's a bit strong. The equipment will be able to get us a rough location of any acceptable samples in the scan area. It'll be up to you, Kaiser, and I to find the things. All right. Head over to the armory and gear up. Once you're done, we'll meet by the entrance to the city. So, uh, today I'm going to play the the I uh, make quest mission through as well, or at least start start it. So, so far we are in a, in a alien place, Lundini, right. planet that was uh, eaten by aliens, <laughs> basically. So you can you can definitely see what 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 movies the developers have been watching. So far I'm um, actually finding digi pigs. Did run out of those. Yeah, these kind of games actually make a bad case for hoarder. Okay, now we navigate the space helmet. That's a general one. Howdy. That's a nice rifle. Transfers complete. Those codes will allow you to temporarily restore power to most facilities in the city. Systems should shut themselves back down automatically. Maybe not to take too many potatoes. Apples, hmm. Cake. All set on your gear? You... Are you ready to do this? Then let's get this show on the road. Kaiser? Percival, everything green on your ends? I am ready. Personal comms should be routed through Kaiser now. You copy that? Roger, loud and clear. Perhaps too loud. Oh, you're a riot robot. Kaiser, kick it off. Unlock code transmitted. You may open the gate when ready. On our way 
safe to the city. Percival, where are we heading? <laughs> Running the first sweep. Got one. A Sealy's. Not far. Old shipping yard just past the processing plant. Gene samples are probably in one of the containers. Yeah, nasty buggers when they actually might co control others. That was good start, but... Like I said... Boss boss fight arena. Then I don't know how many I was fighting actually. Yeah, there's one. Maybe the close combat is pretty bad with this. actually fell down so here it is My radar is actually sh showing me some Ladies and robots first. Oh yeah, I, I gave him grenades. I am not 
sure. Percival, you see any better option? No. All these leeches. What's keeping you things warm? Where there's warmth, there's life, basically. Shock troop helmet. Not not need, needing that. and it has thermal protection so that's that's why I'm taking it what's that my god look at it a Lazarus in bloom you know we might be some of the only what's what's happening have you seen this Okay. Shite. Oh my god. The heat leeches are terramorphs. What? Oh no. Those little nuisances can can do that? Holy mother. You just saw that, right? You would tell me if I was losing my mind. Yep. That heat leech became a terramorph. The pests that have snuck onto every planet are baby terramorphs. Heat leeches hide out in ships, sneak away after landing, and then, with time, they transform. We... We just found out how terramorphs move between planets. I am sincerely inclined to agree, but... Current evidence suggests nature manages it just fine. The Lazarus plant. It's clearly an accelerant for the terramorph, a heat leech transformation process. Make one into the other in an instant. But that means if anyone knew about this, they could trigger a terramorph spawning. You could sneak a leech into a city or even multiple leeches into a place like New Atlantis. Hum. Good God. I wonder if we can the use this. The attack on New Atlantis. <laughs> Does this... Could someone have set that up? Yeah, why not? But first, you'd have to know the truth about all this. Well, we're never gonna know if you don't catch that thing. Get after it. We may proceed.
Percival, Kaiser's got the cell data from the new Atlantis and Tau Ceti attacks, right? Uploading them myself. Captain, let Kaiser take a look at that sample. No hostiles detected by near range sensors. Beginning analysis. It is a match. This suggests with high certainty that the Lazarus plant was used to trigger the attacks on both planets. Uh, there's no way a plant this rare, this fragile, just shows up here, New Atlantis, and Tau Ceti. The transformations on those worlds, they must have been triggered by human hands. Captain, do you understand what it is we just stumbled on here? Exactly. Someone saw the Lazarus plant in action and used it to trigger the attacks. Using implements of nature as weapons of war. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? Our Xeno weapons group never dealt with anything like this, though they probably would have liked to. No, whoever found this, they likely never expected they'd get caught. It makes some sense, actually. Tau Ceti was likely their first test. Someplace remote where no one would question a few settlers going missing. Ensure the big show, the attack on New Atlantis, would be a success. And the timing of that one. It couldn't have been just luck that it happened right when we were asking the Cabinet to do something about the Terramorphs. These attacks. I think someone planned them to set all this in motion. <laughs> you sound like a complete crackpot right now. Uh. I can't. At least, I didn't think it could. But maybe if we're right about this, someone found a way. They certainly were. But having this answer, well, it raises a couple big questions. Who could pull something like this off? And why? Let's save the discussion for when you all aren't standing in the universe's closest equivalent to hell frozen over. If we're gonna do anything to prevent more Terramorph attacks, human cause or otherwise, we need that final sample. Roger that. Kaiser, get us into the spaceport. The entrance is this way. Press two buttons. Reboot engaged. Running I wonder why. So did he saw an invisible weapon? Heat leech. He knew. He knew about the Lazarus plant. Yeah. Grab that recording. We we should talk. Hey Victus. He destroyed this place. Killed these people to keep what he knew about the Lazarus plant and the Terramorphs and all this a secret, didn't he? He's 
saw the potential of the plant as a weapon and hid it away. He killed those people to keep them from sharing what they might have seen. Condemned this whole city to death. He's a... He's... Yes. Exactly what we all thought he was. But if the plant was used to trigger the attacks, could Vey Victus have been involved in the massacre on New Atlantis? Yeah, because we, we told her that he's uh, alive. alive. Can the UC do one goddamn thing right? Executing a war criminal too complicated for them? <laughs> That's not possible. They, they keep him under tight control. And there's no one he's in contact with that could help him on the outside? He got a hold of you, didn't he? Yeah, that's I possible. We're not getting any more answers right now. Come on, let's go get that last sample. I hope we didn't get too much underfoot. Okay, my both both of my followers now know that he's he's alive. Kaiser, try it now. Unlock successful. Guys, your sample. Careful out there if I were you. Following me. I think it's putting out some kind of signal. Raiders lighten up. I think you're due for some company. It's not working. It's never going to work. Oh, one more. The signal that thing's putting out to crawl in those creatures. I think I can know it. But I'm gonna need some help. You left us. Why did you leave us? There should be some radar equipment powered up now around the port. You get those online, and I'll relay my signal through there. Which one? Which one is going to kill you? Yeah, yeah, go to the mines. This is tanking a lot, a lot of damage. Oh god! It's over But... Fortified position is ap apparently... Good defense against it. Yes. Nothing's Re gonna save you! Nothing's gonna save you! Two hours later... That's eating his armor pretty well. Or hair. I don't know if this is like alien queen or something. This revolver is pretty nice. Oh, it's retreating. Control. They're not coming after us. I can 
Anomalous sample. Good. Now just stash that sample with Kaiser and we're done. Final sample secure. All wrapped up. Time to get the hell out of here. Percival, you should unplug and find somewhere we can talk. Privately. On it. See you soon. Look at all of you. Back from the underworld. Yep. Got pretty frantic on the comms towards the end there. But it sounded like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. <coughs> Pretty much. Hey, was worried about that myself. Though I know I wasn't nearly as much at risk of limb loss as you all were. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Vague Victus knew about this damn plant? That's what it sounded like. Huh. Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. It's a bit more complicated than that. I'm sorry, what? Yep. Vey Victus? You gotta be kidding me. Can't the UC do one goddamn thing right now? Uh, that he said is over already. A war criminal like the court's goddamn orders? He's pulling my leg, right? Adrian? No, I don't believe he is. So that means we have a suspect. I believe that's exactly what that means. Look, Captain, Percival and I, we need to get these samples back to the lab. Ensure we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs. But Ve Victus is the only solid lead we've got on the attacks. Since you're the only one who knows where he is, can you speak to him? See if you can get him to cough up anything he might know. Oh, he and I are going to have some birds. Good. We'll all meet back at mast, outside the cabinet chambers. They're gonna want to know everything we've uncovered here. Best of luck, Captain. And thank you for dealing with him. Best of luck on your fact-finding mission. Okay. Well, what a pleasant surprise. When I heard you and Hadrian were headed for Londinian of all places, I presumed you must be on to something big. Did you find what you were looking for? Good news then. So what exactly are you doing here? Plenty still to be done in defeating the Terramorphs, no? Did you? Well, I don't know what you think you heard on this recording, but I sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusions. And those are? Given the Cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret. Such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. And you weren't? Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. Of course. Do I look like I'm in any position to do what you're describing? So I'd very much appreciate your agreement to not share what you found. We wouldn't want anyone else jumping to conclusions now, would we? <laughs> you know you're far more clever than I expected. You want to hear the words then? I did it. The Terramorph attacks on Tau Ceti. New Atlantis. My doing. Years of coordination between my associate and I. Figuring out how to deploy the Lazarus plant's pollen outside of Londinian. Learning to synthesize it. Use it as a weapon. Now, 
Being as clever as you are, I'm sure you have thoughts on why I might do such a thing. But... But we were at war. And I can risk information that dangerous falling into the wrong hands. So I ordered the bombing of the Londinian spaceport. Fixing two problems at once. Halting the spread of the city's terramorph outbreak. And sealing away knowledge of the plant's potential. Simple to say now, but with the outbreak raging from a barely understood source, the moment demanded quick action. So I did what was required. I removed the dangerous variable from an already catastrophic war. But then, as the war ended, my trial, my execution, I made a decision. After all, I'd given everything for the colonies. My life as I knew it included. And what did I get in return? Was there any effort by the UC to protect my legacy? My daughter's legacy? No. We were sacrificed when all we did was serve. So I kept what I'd learned and arranged the attacks to set things right again. My daughter. Yeah. She becomes a hero. I saw, saw that. I become a trusted advisor. Having found Kaiser, the research team, and cement my new position of influence when I hand them the name of the person responsible for the attack on New Atlantis. The dear departed Dr. Reginald Orlais, the associate who aided me all these years, and whom I always slated to take the fall. What luck he was stopped dead before he could hurt anyone else. His decades on the run brought to an end by another unlikely hero you that doesn't make sense can't remember the many lives you've taken <laughs> orlaze was the man whose death you brought about around the moon of etheria the pilot of the warlock he took his own life and i had to eliminate to hide my secret Why would I want to be in the good graces of the people who control my very life? I don't know, Captain. Maybe I still dream of a life outside these walls someday. A new face would be needed, of course, but it wasn't an impossibility. Though now, I'm not so sure. There are no heroes without a villain. I simply arranged the opportunity for us to overcome one and become the other. And we all benefited. It's why I had our lays reprogram Kaiser. Had that old machine guide you to where I found the plant all those years ago. I went to great lengths to ensure your and Hadrian's success. And look at the results. I know for a fact the cabinet's planning to honor both you and Hadrian once this is all done. Isn't that preferable to languishing away in obscurity? Running jobs on the tail end of nowhere for the vanguard? With only the vague hopes of perhaps earning the right to buy a home in the well someday. You're being honored only because I arranged the situations where it could happen. Be grateful. And let's not forget the importance of our actual endgame. And what is the endgame? 
morphs, securing knowledge of the Lazarus plant. What we've set in motion is going to protect thousands, maybe millions of lives. I'm simply requesting one more life be protected. Mine. I've already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaise and Orlaise alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. And how many of them are manufactured? Threats. Well, I do hope you'll keep the larger perspective in mind, Captain. We've done something great here. Let's not squander the opportunity to do more. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against terramorphs. Means either plans should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Did my father tell you what he knew about the Lazarus plant? Yeah. I knew it. The second I heard that recording, I knew. Why? Did he say why he did it? <laughs> it takes some deeply twisted logic to think anything did more harm to the Sanan name than him. So you're telling us that the attack on New Atlantis was Ve Victus's responsibility? Just like the dooming of Londinian? Oh, that's insane. All that, just to help restore the family name? How did he ever think that was going to work? Well, once we inform the Cabinet, they can ensure he won't be able to do anything like this ever again. Exactly. Bring justice to everyone he's hurt. So I guess that gives us our final answer. Nothing left to do but head in and see what the cabinet thinks of it all. Unless there was more to discuss, this might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. Microbe is going to make the cleanup a whole lot quicker. If we're concerned about this Lazarus plant getting deployed again, that's the way to go. Yeah, sounds good. The cabinet can secure the Lazarus plant, and then we're not risking any surprises when it comes to dealing with a microbe. You're being paranoid. You know the science. You know we can make this safe. I do know the science. I also know math. And a one in a million chance of a mutation isn't zero. Yep. So, I guess we're still in discussion. Probably best at this point to let the cabinet wait, see if they have a preference. They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. And the Aceles seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> Aceles aren't hostile to humans, but they are mega fauna. If someone decides to pick a fight with one, it could get ugly. But they've already been spread far and wide once before when the UC was raising them as livestock, so the risk of introducing them to new worlds is minimal. Uh, Using them to clean up the terramorphs not and the, not the native species. It's not going to be nearly as expedient as the microbe would be. Given what we know now about the Lazarus plant, the speed of the job does matter. But going with the Aceles, we're at least dealing with known risks. It's hard to know. 
Unlike my father, the cabinet aren't butchers. But killing UC citizens, along with everything else he's done, is unforgivable. But if you're really that concerned, you could request they be lenient. They might be willing to spare him. Then here we go. I don't want to spare him. That's 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 the thing. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report, and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? My god. An attack? Using Terramorphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? Orlais? It's true, ma'am. I heard the recording myself. My father figured out how to use Terramorphs as weapons. He did what? That... that... that's impossible. He doesn't have the kind of access to... Clearly, he made his own access, Chief Sarkin. Oops. Madam President, I have been saying for years that not dealing with that man was going to end in tragedy. Enough! I hope everyone here understands that what has just been shared is a state secret of the highest order. This information does not leave this room. Orly, orly left. <laughs> now, that's quite the accusation you're leveling. Considering Francois Sanon has not left containment for the better part of two decades. You have evidence to back this up? It just transformed a terror out of thin air. An invisible weapon. No plan I would be safe. Heavens help us. I is that actually him? I'd know that voice anywhere. That's Francois. He knew they could do this. And said nothing. Yep. He's a sociopath. Plain and simple, ma'am. Officer, please collect that recording. Yes, ma'am. Begging your pardon, Captain? We'll, of course, be launching a full investigation into how this could have happened. Though I have little doubt the Admiral will be quick to share all he knows on the subject once confronted with that recording. Chief Yassine, can you send one of your interrogators to have a little chat with the Admiral? I'll issue the order immediately. Good. Combined with everything else you all have uncovered. Well, I don't think the United Colonies can thank you enough. We failed the people of the Colonies by not dealing with Vey Victor sooner. I intend to rectify that mistake. Okay, they are out of... for... for blood. I would request, yeah, the good request his life to be spared. Good, the world will be better without waving this in it. I'm inclined to agree, Captain. Yeah, they are bloodthirsty. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives. But it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian. All materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A so basically nobody learns it. anything from this mess. Tell a Freestar Collective? Why? So they have another tool to utilize against us? I'm in agreement. I fail to see the value here. Indeed. 
open relations at this point would be critical towards maintaining peace. Oh, that is an interesting idea. A grand gesture to further display this cabinet doesn't think like those of the past. The observers on Mars have proven such a gesture can bear fruit. So, you want us to make not the collective by sharing our state secrets? Yeah, why not? No, I want us to display plainly the UC's actual intentions, that the plant will never be used as a weapon again. Hmm. Huh. That does sound worthwhile, Chief Kalkarni. Very well. We'll get the collective involved in the management. Thank you for the suggestion, Captain. So then, to our final topic. And what is that? The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heatleech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Yeah, but it, it can mu mutate. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes, don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've been having similar debates ourselves, but the captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter. I'm in full agreement. No need be delving into unpredictable sciences. Here's hoping they'll be kept on a short leash. Ah. That, madam, is most certainly the plan. Order, please. And Major Sinan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today, Marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division. TMD. <laughs> making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. New job. Today, we will be adding three new Class 1 citizens to our ranks. Class 1? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. It's a status reserved only for those who've dedicated their lives to the United Colonies, or done great things for its cause. Class Ones enjoy an ample credit disbursement, an additional reduction on the cost of colonial goods. And I'm told the penthouse is... Rather impressive. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sinan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. Great. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? It's because they have little outposts everywhere. There were so Captain, many I guess we've got our assignments. 
I just wanted to say... I could have never guessed where all this was going to lead. But now, knowing what I do, that my father truly is the monster I always thought he was. Well, I've just spent a lot of my life in pursuit of the truth. So, you bringing it straight to me, it just means a lot. Had to share the secret that you to meet someone. <laughs> The best ones certainly do. You know, I was thinking, while we were there on the podium, if I wanted to try and see him again. After all, it could be my last chance. But I knew the answer before I even finished the thought. I didn't. Because confronting him, what would I gain from that? From letting him remind me I can never truly be rid of him. Nothing. Yeah. All I'd be doing is acknowledging that he still has some sway over my life. And while I can't do anything about his role in my past, I'm not about to let him control my future. And thanks to what we've done together, that future is brighter than it has been in a long time. Words can't do justice to how grateful I am for that. <laughs> let's not make this weird, my Witcher. Then let's get, keep coming, come with me. You know I can't do that. I've got an assignment. But I wouldn't be upset if you came by the HQ every now and then. Remind me how much I owe you. Well, I think it's safe to say you succeeded beyond anyone's wildest dreams. It's been an honor, Captain. Good luck out there. <laughs>